Next on the list we have to talk about, of course, we have to talk about Kiff and their incredible, incredible collaboration with Solomon. Something that I didn't think I would be a fan of, but I'm slowly but surely coming over to Flipping Solomons. Maybe I'm coming over them or coming on them, but I'm definitely becoming a fan of the brand and the shoes. I definitely am. And I think maybe because they don't look as boxy or as you know uh, lumpy as I thought they did when I saw them prior, maybe because I've seen a few of them in person now, I've started to like how slim and sleek they look and maybe as well with the weather being how it is here in the uk it's probably the best type of shoe to be wearing on a day in day out basis but these colorways that kiff have put together with solomon are definitely definitely some of the best i've seen in a very long time this is courtesy of kiff it says the models features a gore-tex pfc free membrane for breathability and protection from the elements as well as a sensi fit construction for a snug and secure fit the Emergence Cell ACS midsole provides stability and comfort with the mud counter grip outsole ensures maximum grip. The quick lace system allows for easy one pull lacing and the tongues includes Kif branding and a custom woven label. Early access for the free colorways are available on Kif for Solomon. The XT6 Gore-Tex is open now exclusively on the Kif app. These are also released on Monday the 19th which I'm sure they already sold out on Kif.com and EU and blah blah blah. But the three colors they've put together of these are really, really, really impressive. You've got this kind of nice brown color where you'd say here mostly a nice purple, violet, and then a bluish kind of green at the back there. My favorite for sure, I would say, is definitely the purple or the blue. Um, I feel like I've seen, you know, as, as inventive and as kind of um, creative as these colorways are, I feel like I've seen that brownie type of colorway in other places. But this purple and this blue are definitely ones that you probably wouldn't see um, Solomon do in line. They're definitely things that you'd see more related to collaboration. So I'm definitely more of a fan of those because, you know, there's no point in getting shoes like this in collabs. You're not going to get the colors ways that people don't usually get in terms of these sort of collabs. And look at that with a little purple hit too on the back of the heel. That kind of plastic thing that goes around the back looks really cool. Um, I would have preferred maybe some more Kif branding all over it. But yeah, the Solomon Hill type thing doesn't look too shabby. You got Kif here written on the insoles also. You got the Gore-Tex label here towards the front. And you've got the custom woven pull tab label thing on the on the tongue there written with Kif. But the purple ones and the blue ones look really, 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 really flames. I'm a real big fan of those overall. And I think they look absolutely stupendous. And I don't know. I don't know why it took me so long to get onto the whole solomon vibe because i feel like if anything when you consider the amount of interest i have in flipping um acgs and whatnot i should have been into these things a long long time ago it makes no sense that it took me so long to get on board them but i think like most things in life you know it's mostly to do with the fans the people i see wearing flipping solomons or wearing arteryx and stuff arteryx are usually people that i don't want to be associated with in any kind of way so when i see them wearing these sort of brands the first thing i want to do is not wear the brand but sometimes you gotta call a spade a spade when something's fire is fire and i feel like these are really really good especially when you consider that they're meant to be cross training cross running adventure um type shoes right um or hiking shoes whatever you may be called and most of those shoes i reckon for the most part aren't the most aesthetically pleasing but what solomon do really well with these shoes is that they are a good mixture of like a traditional sneaker that you would anticipate you would wear and also something that is also somewhat functional and does exactly what it says in the tin but this sort of again i'm thinking about it now looking on the screen this color that i didn't like the most the kind of brownie burgundy-ish kind of colorway is actually kind of fire also i think they're all good Do you know I, mean? I wouldn't be mad at any 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 colorway but i do like those first two prior i think they look really really cool that that um the the lacing system is pretty interesting so if you're not seeing them on top on lacing system they basically got these pull strings that you're basically meant to pull and then put your foot in so you don't need to lace up and whatnot i'm assuming that's more so if you're outdoors and your hands are compromised or whatnot or cold or you're getting frostbite or you basically chop them off you have the ability to still kind of pull your laces up together by just kind of yanking here on this little doodah at the top of the tongue but the one thing that's really odd is how long the excess kind of tongue rope material is that you're meant to kind of pull on and i guess 
this bend is that there permanently is there like a metal kind of rod in between the laces that you kind of meant to bend and kind of pull or is this just a style thing you meant to do over time not really too sure but i wonder if that's something that happens a lot or if people get them taken off or what i'm not really too sure but i do like it it's kind of inventive kind of creative i'm sure if you wanted to you could take off the laces completely or the pull tabs and just wear them without it and it'll probably keep your foot somewhat snug inside because i'm sure there's probably an elastic that keeps his tongue down and whatnot and the fit themselves kind of lend itself to kind of not wearing them with any kind of lacing system or tongue but i like them i like every single pair of them i think they look really cool big fan of them so here, yeah, racing product as you can see on the top and yeah the blue color that bluish green colorway is just oh might be one of the best and this is really really nice this is lush as hell you see the little sky blue here heel counter the pop she's going towards the front more here this kind of um it looks like a fly wire type material but i'm assuming there's some sort of tensioning cordy things underneath these little white bits that look like a's or triangles and then when you pull the laces they sort of kind of clamp your foot in so maybe it's important to actually keep the uh, the lace system on there actually but it doesn't look like yeah looking at the lace system it doesn't look like it's got any kind of metal rods on the front probably just a pull they just do to make sure that it kind of stays itself down but these look really fire look really cool uh big up Solomon for putting them together big big fan of these and i cannot wait to see them in person when people do wear them in and around town with me and if i'm able to buy them on the resale let me actually check quickly my phone StockX to see what it's saying because i'm curious to see if they if you're able to buy these things on a resale let's see what the vibe is here du, 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 du. let's go here let's go to google say solomon kiff let's see how much they're available on, on flipping StockX. I don't see them available anywhere on StockX just yet. Interesting. Not available yet? Okay, let me let me just type in StockX at the end. Maybe I didn't put in that at the end. But usually if you type that in on Google, it comes up straight away. But if I type in StockX at the end of that, would it show up and how much would they be? I'ma say three hundred, just as a guess now. Let's see if they're available now. I'ma say three hundred. Solomon Kiff Gore-Tex. Was that X? Was that XTX, right? Oh yeah, see? Two fifty. As you can see there, they're 250 actually. Can you see that there? Oh. Put that over there. 250, can you see that? That's a pair there, they're 250. Not too shabby, innit? 250. I think that's alright for that blue pair. And okay, the most expensive colorway, funnily enough, is the purple. Wow, my one's okay. The most expensive colorway is a brown. No, it's the purple, then the brown. That violet y type, um, what they call it? They call it moonscape. So Moonscape is the most expensive, two ninety four, and then the other one is the um, Burnt Henna, which is two eighty three, and then the one I've got on screen now, the blue, is two forty seven. Interesting, isn't it? You wouldn't think that, that it would work out that way, but yeah, big up those. I like them. Um, big up Kiff again. You know, whenever you think you're you're flipping over Kiff. And they've done it all and they've kind of exhausted your patience with collaborations. They always come and hit you over the head with another one and tell you to shut up. Keep on buying. You absolute cretin. Keep on buying. So big up Kiff in it. <laughs> big up Kiff.